here we are in beautiful city, in beautiful town, not city, of Harpers Ferry. Today is June 22nd, and it's been great an honor to be here because of the beauty of the Appalachian Trail brings people together, brings wildlife to the eyes and the senses of the human. And I've encountered many bears, many deer, squirrels, snakes, winds, the heat of the summer, the humidity of the summer, the coldness of the beginning when I started, and uh, everything is good. Chopping wood and carrying water, maintaining the equilibrium, heading north towards Maine, but enjoying every step of the way. Not thinking only about the goal, just enjoying the path. And today, I had the fortune of while I was hiking out of Harper's Ferry, I mean, a woman that I saw hiking with her dog, or walking with her dog. I'm happy to be right here. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Charlene. Shelly. Shelly. Michelle. Shelly. And Shelly and I started talking over there in the former college, and uh, we talked for a while, and it got nice and interesting. But I said, oh my God, it's getting dark. And I have to hike because I needed to reach the shelter that I was going to stay. So I started, we said goodbye, we hugged, and we say, we'll see you in the future. So I started hiking the Appalachian Trail that goes around, and I passed a little trail of only 20 yards. And I said, I wonder what was that, because I was getting worried that it's dark. And I went back, and it was an old cemetery. People buried there in the late 1800s. And probably even before. So I said, oh, this is a beautiful place to camp. I have to hide because the people will come around, the police or whatever, so because it was getting dark. And I get behind a tree, and guess who I see with a dog coming through the cemetery. <laughs> Here she is. And it was meant to be. She invited me to her beautiful home, an ancestral home. I think of 1800, the wood floor and everything, and I made Paul. Here he is, <laughs> the husband. And I made, met also their son, Finn. Here he is. And here we are, having a good time, drinking Blue Moon and Magic Hat from Vermont, enjoying life, the treasures of life, these moments. And they have a guitar, and Finn plays piano. He's going to play later for us. And we're talking about life and playing some music and enjoying. I am just blessed, 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 and happy to be alive, to be sharing this moment. Who are you? My name is Red Stick. Because Red Stick are the Indians of South of Alabama called the Red Stick Indian Creek. Wiped out by Andrew Jackson, who wiped out the Cherokees and the Seminole, but is on the $20 bill. Do we think about this stuff? A criminal on the $20 bill. We have to question everything that people do. Not a man. No question. Why? 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 There's always a why. And when you find the why, you'll see that it's not on the interest of the people. It's on the interest of a select group of people. But, going back to the human part. Here we are celebrating life. Celebrating life with beer, with, with natural light. We had to put the light because of the camera, and with music. Nietzsche said, without music, life would be a mistake. Music is the universal language of the world. And no matter how many money, how much money you have in the bank, if you don't have it, nobody to share it with, doesn't, doesn't matter. Tumble in. 
2,000 miles. We're making a stop here in Hyper Ferry, this beautiful home. As Lao Tzu used to say, a good traveler has no fixed plans. And guess what? He also added, he doesn't have any intentions in arriving. <laughs> Stand by me. Ha, ha, ha.